Hello there kitties, I'm Carrie, the Vacuum Tube Witch. And what I have for you today... No, not that one. <laughs> is the Carita Electronics AC1 Audio Computer. We'll go through the blocks uh, of this device. How I built it, I will tell you what's inside, how it works, because this is the new and improved version that I did uh, a slight redesign of uh, Control Electronics and I also rewrote uh, most of the control software to make it uh, work way better than uh, it used to and uh, with some uh, added functionality and uh, all this uh, with simplifying the code. Let's get to the bench. So we've got our AC1 audio computer. And looking at the front panel would be the first thing we would do. On the left we have the main uh, switch and a pilot lamp um, that indicates that the power supply is powered. When it is powered it powers the single board computer that is uh, Orange Pi uh, PC Plus. It also powers the control module and the hard disk. Those pilot lights and fuse holders are for the two channels that um, the device uh, turns on and off uh, sequentially. First it uh, turns on the main power for, for mixers, for sources and uh, after a few seconds of delay it turns on uh, power to the second channel, to the amplifiers. When turning off the device it first uh, turns off the amplifier right away then it waits uh, something like 15 seconds turns off um, the main power that uh, that means that uh, when the power in the amplifier is bleeding off and uh, there might be still some signal uh, on the ball it, uh, it means that uh, then the main power, the sources, the mixers, uh, the preamps won't go off with any cracks and uh, and all that um, nasty uh, signal, nasty interference. Then we have uh, the on-off button uh, for software control. When pressing this button, uh, the control software gets um, the signal to toggle the output power on or off or go fully on when it is uh, only partially on, like uh, when only the main group is uh, powered and the amplifier group is not. Then we have um, the automatic uh, or manual uh, operation switch. Automatic means just that um, then the software takes care of um, switching the power on and off and uh, then you use uh, either this button or, or a web interface to control the power of the equipment. With off, both, uh, both relays, both channels uh, will be off and you cannot turn them on from, uh, from software. And uh, with uh, manual override on, they will be on with uh, no power sequencing. It is uh, 
mostly an emergency feature in case a uh, software update uh, on the on uh, on the embedded system um, fails and locks me out of the network because it happened to me more than just a few times both when working on this project and um, working on uh, rpi2 caster and uh, if I uh, just can't uh, take the AC1 out of the out of the rack, I would lose um, any possibility of controlling the hi-fi equipment power, and this is just a safeguard against uh, this happening, so that I can still fire up my uh, hi-fi gear and uh, and listen to some music. This is the system shutdown and this is the reboot button like you like you see here. The green LED indicates that the control system, um, the control software has uh, booted and is ready to accept commands both from the button and from the web interface. The red LED is uh, always lit whenever the switch is in the auto position when it is off or manual override on it will be dark this is a uh, USB port in case I want to um, copy some files from a flash drive or to a flash drive and this is the headphones output now going over to the back panel To the left we've got um, two additional USB ports that were originally on um, the Orange Pi. The network port, the audio inputs, I will talk about um, the audio inputs and outputs um, pretty soon. Those are the power control sockets. The first two are for the second channel, that is uh, amplifiers. The third one is an uh, unswitched uh, power socket um, from the main uh, main channel. It uh, completely omits the, the relays, but uh, it goes through the interference filter for some uh, additional uh, audio equipment that I don't want to switch on and off uh, with this device but uh, but switch it on and off independently and then the main uh, the main channel for the equipment this is the power input for the amplifier group and for the main group So, we've got the insides of uh, the, the audio computer. First, um, the power goes through interference filters. Then, um, from, the, from the first group, uh, it goes uh, to the switch and uh, pilot lamp. Then to the power supply that powers all the electronics here, the hard disk drive, the control interface, and through the control interface, um, the Orange Pi PC Plus. And uh, we've got uh, control relays for, for the outputs. Those relays are controlled with uh, MOSFETs on the control interface. Then uh, we've got a Behringer UCI triple two audio inf interface board. Originally, it was uh, in a plastic enclosure, and I took it out and um, put it into the rack mount enclosure. The inputs and outputs of um, the UCI triple two are 
connected through the signal transformers with the inputs and outputs so this is the real deal balanced uh, in and out um, device like uh, like you would see on uh, studio gear that would uh, that would cooperate with uh, any professional uh, audio equipment and then of course we've got uh, the controls for for the device it all goes to the interface board, the on-off button, the mode switch, the shutdown and reboot buttons, and the LEDs. And let's see how it looks on a block diagram from the, from the main uh, power input uh, through the filter to the unswitched output, to the switch and uh, pilot lamp uh, and power supply, and through a relay to the switched output, also um, the pilot lamp, and the, and the fuse uh, is also here. And the second channel is way simpler. It just uh, consists of the filter, the relay, the fuse holder, pilot lamp, and uh, a pair of uh, output connectors. Then the control interface. We've got uh, we've got a board here connected with uh, with buttons with the mode switch and the LEDs and the relays of course this is uh, where the outputs to, to the relays are the single board computer that would be this one the HDD of course and the major UCA222 is this one and those transformers are here very simple. Let's see the schematic for the control part. Both of the channels uh, are NPN transistor inverter, and then the PNP transistor here is uh, basically an uh, end gate. Like uh, if we've got um, a high state on the input and uh, a high state uh, on the emitters of the transistors, then we will have the high state on the output whenever, uh, never, whenever this is low or this is low. We won't have uh, a high here. We will have a low. That uh, ensures that uh, we can control the relays from the single board computer only when um, the mode switch um, is in the auto mode uh, or software control. When when this is high, to, uh, when this is high and uh, the LED is lit. And the uh, emitters uh, are on the high state as well, and uh, there's also the sense input for the single board computer, so that uh, its software logic uh, can do the determination of state. And then um, the off position is just uh, disconnecting 3.3 volts uh, from both of those lines and in the manual override position the gates of uh, the output uh, MOSFET transistors are tied high through the spare of uh, 1N4148 diodes and it is also uh, indicated in software and uh, whenever the MOSFET transistor conducts 
12 volts DC will have a um, current path through a relay coil to the ground and of course uh, this diode uh, protects uh, against uh, voltage spikes whenever the MOSFET uh, stops conducting and uh, this circuitry is just uh, the same block uh, repeated uh, three times this is the debounce circuit and uh, it works in such a way that uh, normally the output um, is uh, pulled down to ground through the 1k resistor and the diode paralleled with the 100k resistor so the capacitor has a chance of um, discharging pretty quickly because of the presence of the diode then the time constant uh, is, uh, is shortened it's like uh, 2.2 micro times uh, 1 kilo of course you have to count the diode drop but uh, when you turn on the button the 3.3 voltage will appear on the 1k and it will charge the 2.2 microfarad uh, capacitor through the 100k resistor the time constant of um, this pair of parts will be significant uh, I, uh, it's the tenths of second uh, order of magnitude and uh, it prevents any voltage spikes, any fluctuation of, uh, of current uh, on the contact from uh, putting any spurious uh, signal, any interference um, to the input of the single board computer and uh, after we release the button the capacitor will discharge through the diode and uh, one kilo ohm resistor to the ground that goes pretty quickly and uh, any voltage um, that has uh, left on the capacitor less than the diode drop will eventually discharge through the 100k resistor and that would be it the AC1 uh, audio computer control circuitry and the basics of operation of this little project and uh, the most interesting part would be the code but I won't show it uh, right yet in, in this episode I will post uh, a link to the github repository so that you can take a look at it you can use it all, all that you want you can even criticize me for how a shitty software developer I would be <laughs> and I'm not really a software developer so <laughs> please bear with me I know you would I, I know you would code in, uh, in C rather than, rather than Python but I I'm way better at Python than C. <laughs> so, this lovely little thingy will have its cover reinstalled. And it will be ready to go back to the rack and serve the glorious purpose of world conquest by Curry. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye.